what is the missing structure uh, between people who don't have money and those who are wealthy? In this episode, I'm going to address what do wealthy people think and do differently about money. Get ready. Uh, I'm going to simplify this, but hopefully you're going to go, oh my heck. So I'm Doug Andrew, and I've been helping people optimize assets and minimize taxes and empower their authentic wealth now for nearly five decades. And I've noticed helping thousands of people, and I've been very blessed, honored in my life to have authored so far 12 books that have all become bestsellers. And uh, I've been able to teach uh, over 90,000 hours in front of audiences. And uh, I teach advanced continuing education to CPAs, tax attorneys, financial advisors. Uh, this has all been a great blessing in, in my life. And uh, it's because I see light bulbs go on when I help people understand how money really works and uh, help them achieve a, a life of peace and abundance. Now, uh, it's not just about the money. That's why we call this channel uh, Three Dimensional Wealth, because there's actually three dimensions. Only one has to do with money or finances. The other two have to do with the foundational and intellectual assets. Foundational assets would include things like your health and your, your, your family, your talents, unique abilities, and you know, your faith and your beliefs and so forth. The intellectual assets would be your education, uh, the wisdom that you gain from your knowledge times your experiences, and also your strategic alliances and things like that. Uh, a lot of times people don't realize uh, those dimensions uh, are more important and that life is like a three-legged stool. There's too many people that spend a lot of their health accumulating their wealth, and then later in life they're spending all their wealth trying to regain their health, which is really sort of stupid. Or they accumulate their financial wealth at the expense of relationships uh, with their spouse, their kids, their grandkids, or their God. And at the end of the day, they're always saying, what was all this for? I have millions of dollars, but I'm bankrupt in these other areas of my life. But there is a missing structure between what the world perceives as people uh, that have wealth. I just defined true or authentic wealth as being more than the money. But a lot of times people equate wealth to uh, the, the net worth of the individual. Uh, and so I'm going to use that, but you understand it's, it's a bigger picture than just the money, right? And so let's talk about what this missing structure is uh, between uh, the 95% of Americans and uh, the other top 5%, which the other 95% look up and say, those people are rich, uh, they're wealthy. And uh, there's just a, a difference in mindset and how they understand things, okay? So let me simplify this down on the, on the bottom third of this upright rectangle. I have captivity because unfortunately, 95% of Americans I feel are in captivity. Uh, and it could be even uh, captivity caused by their choices with their health. Uh, it could be because um, they don't understand values. Uh, but with money, they're actually in captivity and their biggest fear is being poor or uh, outliving their money. And unfortunately, most Americans will outlive their money because they've been following the herd traditional financial planning, okay? Oh, put your money into the company's 401k. Uh, tax defer, 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 because uh, you'll likely be in a lower tax bracket when you retire. And that has not been really true or axiomatic for more than uh, three decades. Uh, if you are a saver, you're not in a lower tax bracket. I address that a lot on this channel. And so people follow traditional planning and they have this nest egg, let's say a million dollars uh, that they've saved up in traditional IRAs or 401ks. And uh, they think that they can pull out 10%. Well, most uh, Americans can't stomach a volatile market, especially during retirement. And so Dalbar says most retirees are only ac actually averaging about 3.49% with their money in IRAs or 401ks in the market. 
because uh, they have to have predictable income and they get scared they're gonna lose their retirement nest egg. And so when the market starts going down 20, 25, 30%, they, they sell low and then they wait, 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 wait until the market's up here and then they buy high. So they're only averaging three and a half percent. And uh, this is why the financial services industry uh, came out with a 4% rule. They only want you to pull out 4% of that million dollar nest egg because they don't want you to sue them for you outliving your money. Okay. And so they're in captivity. They've got a million dollar nest egg and they have this pathetic 40,000 uh, that their advisor wants them to pull out. And you pay taxes, even in a 25% bracket of 10,000, you only have a net of 30,000 and you can't make ends meet with uh, $30,000. I mean, do you save a million bucks to have a measly 30,000 to buy gas and groceries and prescriptions and golf green fees, 2,500 a month? And yet that is uh, what most traditional financial planners tell you to do. It's called the 4% rule. So 95% of Americans, even if they accumulate a half a million. Now, unfortunately, most retirees only have about a half a million dollars. Some have way less than that. I remember years ago, people would come to me and they, they had a $100,000 balance. And uh, they said, well, <clears throat> we, we need about 4,000 a month. How long will this 100,000 last? <laughs> and I would say uh, uh, two and a half, three years. Only that long? I mean, they had never understood how to calculate stuff like that. Well, even people with $500,000, if they need 4,000 a month, 48 grand a year, Pretty soon, because of taxes, inflation, and market volatility, they're going to need way more than that. The 4% rule is not going to cut it, but uh, 500000 is not going to cut it. Even a million dollars is not going to cut it for most Americans, okay? So, folks, uh, there's a difference between these that are in captivity and the top 5% up here at the top. Now, I... Uh, I call this the land of peace and abundance. Now, it's because they have tremendous freedom. Uh, they don't have to worry about taxes, even though they don't like paying taxes. Uh, a lot of their income is totally tax-free. And the people down here say, that's no fair. Well, they had the opportunity to do the same thing, but they understand how money works. Uh, they have tremendous freedom because inflation, they don't like it. But inflation doesn't hurt them. It actually helps them because they have their money uh, linked to the things that inflate. And uh, they're immune from market volatility because the savvy ones don't have their money invested in the market. Uh, and so they have tremendous freedom. And so the average person up here in America now will have, you know, $3 million, $5 million, $10 million. Here is what shocks so many people. Some of these people up here made the same amount of money as these people here. People go, no way. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they made this much income, but they only saved 6% into the company's 401k, thinking that was a smart thing to do. Uh, they bought jet skis and boats and campers and, and all kinds of things, and they consumed and consumed. They didn't understand how money worked. These people up here learned uh, uh, how to live on less than what they earned. They saved 20, 25, and 30% of their income because they wanted a, a big enough nest egg so that when they retired, they can maintain the same lifestyle and stay ahead of taxes, inflation, and market volatility. So these people have tremendous financial freedom because they understand three marvels or miracles of wealth accumulation that these people never learned. These people down here, okay, they, uh, they're strivers. Uh, they will always have too much month left at the end of their money. The best advice for a lot of these people is uh, act your wage and cut up your credit cards. And that's what a lot of advisors out there tell these people to do. That's, their, that's the masses. Okay, I love to help people from here move up to here. And there's a missing structure I'm going to show you. So stay with me on how you can move out of here up to here. But why do they have $5 million and they, they were making the same amount of money? Well, they saved substantially more, but they understood three marvels or miracles. Number one, uh, compound interest. Now, some people think they understand compound interest. And then I say, oh, you, you really think you do? These are sometimes CPAs and tax attorneys. And I'll say, uh, <clears throat> take that sheet of paper on your table and fold it in half. And it's just copy paper, you know. 
and it folded in half one more time. So they fold it in half twice, and I say, now imagine if you could fold that sheet of paper in half 48 more times, a total of 50 times. Write down on that sheet of paper how thick you think that would be. And these savvy CPAs and tax attorneys write down six inches, three quarters of an inch. Some really smart ones go a mile and they get laughed out of the room. And then I say, I thought you understood compound interest. What's that sheet of paper doing every time you, you fold it in half? It, it's doubling. Uh, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. If you folded it over 20 times, it would be a million 48 times thicker. If you folded that sheet of paper over uh, 42 times, it would be from here to the moon. If you folded it over 50 times, it would be 93 million miles thick. It'd be from here to the sun. If you could fold it over one more time, 51 times, it would be from here to the sun and back. Double, double, double. Okay, that's why, you know, Einstein said that the eighth one of the world is compound interest. Well, it was Rothschild that said, no, 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 yeah, compounding is okay, but it has to be tax free. Compound interest tax free. That's the second marvel or miracle. Uh, not tax deferred IRAs or 401ks or money in banks, credit unions, that are regular mutual funds. That's taxed as earned. It's the worst way to save and then the most common way people save. See, a dollar doubling 20 times will be worth a million 48,000. But if you pay taxes on it every year that it doubles, uh, in a 25% bracket, you'll only have 72,000, not a million. If you are in a 33% bracket, you'll only have 27,000 bucks instead of a million. That's the people down here. They only have 27,000 with the same amount of savings as these people, because these people understood compounding tax-free, okay? Not just tax-deferred, even tax-deferred, uh, if it grows to a million, only 650,000 of that is your money. These people have uh, usually double because they choose tax-free. So compound interest, tax-free compounding, what's the third marvel these people understand? I'll simplify it. It's called safe, positive leverage. What's leverage? It's the ability to own and control assets with very little or none of your money tied up or at risk in that asset. Let me try to simplify this. These people are usually in debt, but uh, they borrow to consume. These people, uh, they, if they had cash, they would pay cash for the house or the rental property, or if they had a rental property, they would take all the positive cash flow and send it to the mortgage company to get rid of that. These people up here go, wait a minute here. Uh, this is how money works. How do banks make money? Uh, they borrow OPM, other people's money. You deposit money into a bank or a credit union, they're gonna pay you what, 1%? So every million dollars <clears throat> that banks borrow, they pay 10,000 a year in interest. Interest is their friend, not their foe. And so uh, they borrow a million. If they stop paying that 10,000 of interest, they would wither up and die. They'd have to give you your money back and they wouldn't have any money to invest. They turn around and invest that million that you loan them and they loan it back out again at, you know, 5%. In fact, they'll put 30 to 40% of their tier one assets into insurance companies and earn five. So on a million, every million they invest in into an insurance company, they earn 50,000 a year and they only had to pay 10,000. Are you connecting the dots? How much more is 50 than 10? Don't say 40, it's five times. It's 500% more. Uh, would you hire an employee for 10 grand that made you an extra 50 grand? Would you buy a widget machine for 10 grand that made you an extra 50 grand? That's called a 500% return on employment cost or equipment cost. These people understand that. So if they have a million dollar piece of real estate, okay, if they use OPM and they borrow to own that, okay, they pay interest at four and a half percent tax deductible. It's only a net cost of 3% in a 33% tax bracket. On every million of real estate, they pay 30,000 a year. That's not a cost, that's a benefit. Because on that million that they didn't pay off the property, they kept it leveraged with liquidity. They put it into a portfolio of laser funds. That is earning 9% or higher. How much more is nine than three? Three times as much, 300% more. They pay 30,000. Okay, they make 90,000. 
they make 60,000 of profit, okay? They make three times as much money by leveraging with liquidity. Now, leveraging without liquidity is stupidity. That's why these people end up with 5 million bucks, even though they made the same amount of income as these people. That's why they have tremendous freedom. I want to help you move from striving to thriving, okay? The missing structure that I'm talking about here is disclosed in this book. I want to gift you. I want you to claim your free copy of this book. It's called The Laser Fund, How to Diversify and Create the Foundation for a Tax-Free Retirement. You'll read stories in here of how people have doubled, quadrupled their income uh, by understanding this concept versus being trapped down here because we liberated them by teaching them the missing structure. And when they understood that, they wanted to engage with one of our IUL specialists and go through what we call the true wealth eight-step transformation process. And so I don't have time to go into that except to show you a little picture of it on the screen. Uh, they usually get this enlightenment experience by reading and studying or watching videos or listening to podcasts that I've created. And all of a sudden they get educated on how money really works. And then I point them to IUL specialists. They go through what is called a true wealth discovery. They have a strategic design created and then a success formula that is customized to them. They end up going through a little bit of a refinement process with a ton of flexibility. Then they have a final action blueprint to move up to that top 5%. And then they go through the impl implementation experience and within five years, they've moved out of that bottom up to that top. They moved out of captivity into tremendous financial freedom. And it's disclosed in this book. And then we just meet with them annually to make sure they're on track, okay? Folks, if you want to go through this eight-step process, I can point you to the relatively small handful of financial advisors who understand what I'm talking about. But the key is to, is to get it, okay? See, 85% of any successful result you want in life is determined in the first 15% of the process. It's this enlightenment. It, it's getting it. If you don't get it, you're going you're to miss the boat. Once you do that, then the rest of this process is very predictable. It's like dominoes. They just fall. And so 85% of the result will be determined in the first 15% of the process. What's the first 15% for you? It's getting one of these. Okay. Here's how you can claim your free copy. You simply go to laserfund.com, L-A-S-E-R fund.com, or click on the link below. And you contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling. I'll cover the rest of that cost. I require a little bit of skin in the game. It's not just a handout. I want to give you a hand up. And uh, then I'll fire out a book to you. There's options there to listen, learn, watch, and learn. But then while you're in there, you might want to check out uh, how you can attend one of our educational online webinars, which we do regularly. And also you can fill in and talk to an IUL specialist to see how a laser fund could be designed to accommodate where you're at to move you from captivity, where you're gonna outlive your money, up to tremendous financial freedom, where you're thriving instead of just getting by striving. Does that make sense? So uh, go into laserfund.com, claim your free copy, and here's to your brighter future.